Machine learning models are often a black box, which is difficult for statisticians to explain. But is this lack of explainability a necessary feature, or is it holding us back from creating models that we really need? To discuss more, we're joined now by Cynthia Rudin. Cynthia, it's so nice to meet you. Thanks for talking with us. It's great to be at JSM. Why are black box machine learning models a problem, and how is this most apparent in fields like healthcare and criminal justice? Yeah, people really want to use like these very complicated machine learning models for, for really high stakes decisions. And it's, you know, it's often not a good idea. Um, so for um, decisions like, like criminal justice decisions that determine people's freedom and, and loan decisions that determine whether people can buy a home or something like that, we really should be using simple models that people can understand um, so that they're much easier to troubleshoot and much easier to use in practice. And um, you're much more likely to find a problem and be able to solve it if you can understand what the calculation is that the model's doing. Why is the concept of explainable AI flawed? Yeah, so I'm distinguishing explainable AI from interpretable AI. So explainable AI is when you're trying to explain a black box model. It's like an excuse for why it's okay to use that black box model. Whereas I prefer interpretable machine learning where you actually design a model that's constrained so that its reasoning process can be understood by humans. And I much prefer interpretable machine learning models because there's so many problems with explaining black boxes because the explanations are they're always flawed um, and they never really tell you the complete computation. Whereas with interpretable AI, you really can understand exactly how the input relates to the output. But don't interpretable models sometimes lose accuracy? Yeah, actually, it's really interesting. Um, for problems with um, tabular data, like the kind of data you might find on a spreadsheet, we found that you can construct really simple models, like something that you could put on an index card that are just as accurate as the best black box models. And it's really surprising that that happens. And we've been doing like a lot of empirical and theoretical studies for why this is true, but it seems to really be true. So what it means is that for all these problems like loan decisions and a lot of healthcare decisions and criminal justice decisions, we should be able to use very small models without losing any accuracy. Um, for problems with images and sound waves and things like that, you need a neural network, but we found ways to embed constraints into those neural networks so that their reasoning process is able to be understood as well. Why do you think we're not using these kind of interpretable AI models more widely? Yeah, so part of the reason is that people think that because the model's more complicated, it must be more accurate. And it's actually not true. And so now that like we've made that clear, you know, why, why that's not true um, and shown that it's not true, and then we've provided all these software tools so that we can design interpretable models, then you know, I don't see why we shouldn't be using them in the future. I think we just have to dispel that belief and then we've got it. Well, thank you so much for your time, Cynthia. Wonderful talking with you. Nice to talk with you as well.